Hello everyone, how are you all doing? So today we are looking at the phone under 30,000 rupees. So at this price range, plenty of really good competition, especially 30,000 rupees if you are willing to spend. So you'll get to see some really good specification phones and the competition is so healthy. It's really hard for me to recommend or pick one phone out of all these phones because you have Oppo, you have Realme, you have OnePlus, you have the Vivo, you have the Samsung competing with latest launches. You have the Poco phone here. You also have the Motorola. But with all this said, at the end of the day, you are just going to buy one phone, not multiple, right? So at 30,000 rupees, which one to pick? In this video, I'll be suggesting only two phones. So it's uh, really tough for me to filter out all those good phones and recommend only two. But these are best of the best you can watch for. So two phones under 30,000 Indian rupees. Let's begin the video then. So number one phone, any guesses here? So it's the not Motorola, it's the Poco F6, the latest launch from Poco. So it's absolutely stellar in terms of performance. So if you're looking for a phone that gives like flagship performance, just close your eyes and buy the Poco F6 because this one has Snapdragon 8s Gen 3. It's the latest from Snapdragon and you have covered AI chipset inside built inside it which means later with the upgrades and all you'll be getting all the AI stuff on your phone. Now this one also gives you 120 hertz super AMOLED display which is 6.67 inches and you get 68 billion plus colors for this beautiful display. So it's again amazing HDR10 plus support 500 nits of brightness standard brightness but peak brightness is 2400 nits which is again amazing. So the the primary camera here is 50 megapixel at f 1.59 aperture which is really good but then the second phone that I'm recommending gives even better results if you're looking for a camera oriented phone so definitely you should go for the second phone if you're looking for camera oriented phone so with this phone you are getting f 1.59 which is good it's not the best you also get the HDR 10 plus support while recording video and you also have the 4k at 60 frames per second which is again amazing because the chipset that they have used here is absolutely stellar at this price point so no doubt about that and with regard to another setup with the primary camera you have the 8 megapixel ultra wide is what they have gone i'm not so keen or fan of this ultra wide setup actually only 50 megapixel primary camera with optical stabilization is what you should be looking for while capturing pictures so as regard to selfie you get the 20 megapixel here f 2.2 aperture again you also have the hdr support here which is good and with respect to battery 5000 mAh is what they have gone for which is good again two day easy battery backup you can expect from this phone and you also get the 90 watts fast charging support the major selfie point here is the performance snapdragon 8s gen 3 like i said it's much better than the snapdragon 7 series 7 gen 1 gen 2 gen 3 or even the diamond city 9000 series so it's really a step up from all those processors here so if you're after a performance oriented phone this is the major selling point here and you also get the beautiful looking display 6.67 inches 120 hertz super amoled display is what they have gone for and you just can't go wrong picking this one up so it's the poco f6 if you're after a very performance oriented smartphone Phone. okay the number two phone any guesses so it's the motorola edge 50 pro absolutely fantastic phone at this price range like i said the competition is really good you can look for the realme you can look for the oneplus you can look at the oppo n11 there so all sitting there but then these beasts will eat them up just eat them up yeah the motorola h50 pro gives you snapdragon 7 gen 3 processor which is really good as well but not as compared to the poco f6 performance definitely there so with the snapdragon 7 gen 3 again you are getting this phone for like 32,000 rupees for 8 gb to 56 gb with offers and all you should be able to get it for 30,000 rupees both the phones the major selling point here is the camera setup itself 50 megapixel primary camera at f 1.4 aperture with optical image stabilization which is really really good i think it is the best in the segment i would say no doubt about that the motorola edge 50 pro like charms out in the competition especially with respect to camera you are getting the 13 megapixel f 2.2 ultra wide camera setup and you also have the 10 megapixel telephoto camera which is really good and it helps you and it keeps you handy whenever you need that focal length so 10 megapixel that to has the optical image stabilization so it's the best in the segment here and you also get plenty of portrait modes here at different focal length 24 millimeter 35 millimeter 50 millimeter and also 85 millimeter so up to that easily you can shoot the portraits with very nice background blur and other than that selfie camera 50 megapixel again f 1.9 so better selfie camera as compared to the poco f6 and rest of the competition here so that's why i'm recommending this one and you also can shoot 4k up to 30 frames per second i don't know why they have put the cap or maybe the chipset has the cap you can't 
can't shoot 4K 60 FPS, but then again, you can shoot slow motion at 1080p resolution, obviously. So with regard to display, so what they have gone for is the 6.7 inches. Again, it's the P OLED display, but this time Motorola has chosen the 144 Hertz true pattern display, which means you get true colors here with 1 billion plus color support. With the Poco F6, you are getting 68 billions of colors in that small display, 6.67 inches. But here you are getting 6.7 inches with 1 billion plus color support. But again, with respect to color quality or let's say calibration and all those stuff, so you are getting really good display here with 144 hertz refresh rate. So best in the segment and that's what you are getting with the Motorola H50 Pro. So with respect to battery, they have got for slightly low rated, which is 4,500 mAh. I would have expected 5,000 and above. But then since they are using Snapdragon 7 Gen 3, so it should not uh, like hamper so much and 4500 mAh battery along with that 68 watts uh, turbo charger is what you are getting inside the box but this phone is capable of charging up to 125 watts so let's say you have bought the 125 watts charger and easily you can charge the phone and within let's say 30 minutes you are good to go full charge 0 to 100 you also get the 50 watts wireless charging support and 10 watts of power wireless charge so that's really good as well so you can charge other phones this one charges at around 10 watts so there is power sharing so which is also the first in the segment so all these good stuff you are getting with the motorola edge 50 pro and with regard to updates security updates you should not have any issue at all because there is competition and these motorola or poco should actually deliver to you and also poco f6 this time is using hyper os which is xiaomi's os operating system which is not so different than the obvious mi os the typical redmi a phone OS but still they have slightly tweaked it for the better since they are giving you really good chipset out there so just two phones don't confuse with the Oppo Reno11 or OnePlus series Realme is GT uh, 60 I think 60 that's also a good phone with 6000 nits of brightness but again it was really hard to like boil down to just two phones these two phones you should not be worrying about at all like four to five years easily you should be good to go there is also the latest launch from the Samsung F55 which is really good to look at actually with that vegan leather and all but then again it's hard to recommend they have used the 7 gen 1 chipset there from snapdragon if you're a samsung fan definitely you can check out the samsung galaxy f55 and the operating system is really good there especially the user interface uh, but then again at this price point you just can't beat the specification from these phones so the best in the segment just two phones i have recommended out of them you can buy anyone and enjoy the experience hopefully this video was helpful to you if yes, hit that like button don't forget to share it with your friends and if you're new to my channel don't forget to click on that subscribe button so guys i will see you in the next one until then take care everyone bye bye